Well, we're taking a few days off after uh, getting back from Arkansas, and you know what we're gonna do? Paint. I'm not very excited about it, but uh, Stephanie is. <laughs> so welcome to the Sometimes Random, Occasionally, Every Once in a While, Pastor's Vlog. Got some exciting things to share with you today, so why don't you come along? to the sometimes random, occasionally every once in a while vlog. It is amazing how fast they go. Alright guys, once again we are at Home Depot. Gotta get some paint, paint brushes, all the stuff you paint with. Woo! Very, very yes. excited Woo about that. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Have you found the color yet, Seth? Soft turquoise. We're looking for turquoise colors. Beach side turquoise. The only problem is, look at all the paint chips. That's just fine. Look at all these. Have you found it? I think so. And that'll all match pretty good. See, this is going to be the out, the foyer. And then this will be the ceiling part out there. And then this will be the long wall. You see, they all, so it's like light, a little bit darker, and then darker. That's good to me. All right. I am sweating. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but I am hot. And the reason I'm hot is because of this. We are painting, what's the color, Steph? Beach side. Beach side from white. To Beachside. How you doing there, Steph? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> we've forgotten. It's been a while since we painted. Yeah, I think we were younger. Last time we painted. Yeah, we were younger. It looks good. Hopefully, once it dries, we're keeping it off. I didn't tape off. Yeah, I've never taped off, but I should have taped off. Anyways, wish us luck. We got to do this whole wall. Eighteen. What was it? Eight and a half. Eight and a half by, no, not 60, 30. <laughs> Woo, I'll say 60, yeah. This is like, goes the length of the house, really. The house has just got one room on that side, one room on that side past the wall, so it's really the whole length of the house. And I don't know if we're gonna have enough paint. They told us a gallon, I gave, I measured, just so we wouldn't have this problem. Now, we may not be putting it on right, I don't know, but I think we're gonna have to make a, a trip back, which is so frustrating. Because as you can see, we're pretty close. We're pretty close. Well, I'll let you know how it turns out. And we got one other room Stephanie wanted to paint. And uh, maybe we'll get to that today, maybe we won't. All right, finished prom. Look at that beautiful blue. And not only did I do the blue, here in the lobby, or whatever you call it, where you go out, you can't tell, but I painted this room as well. It's got a star. Anyway, I'm sore. I'm, not, I'm such a weenie. I can't believe it. But anyways, we got her done. Well, I got a few things I got to put back. I just saw. Never finish. Hey guys, just finished up. <laughs> All of our, uh, well, not all of our painting, but today's painting. And uh, it took me an hour or so, but kind of got back into the rhythm of it. They still haven't painted on my face, I'm not sure. But before I went to bed, I wanted to take a second. You know, my dad is in the hospital. We spent a week there, and I wanted to talk a little bit about that. As a pastor, that's one of the things you do. You go to the hospital. And when I started in ministry, I was like 22 years old. And with the, in the first month of becoming pastor, I had one of the guys who was a longtime member of the church have an aneurysm and um, he was in the hospital for months and his family stayed up there at the hospital and just trying to figure out how to, to minister to them and encourage them. And then secondly, in that same month, I had um, a, a baby who was just a few months old pass away. Uh, two things, you know, that I was completely unprepared for. Uh, how do you to minister to folks? How do you to help folks? And uh, as I was in the hospital, 
trying to encourage my dad and of course Deborah, his wife, and just a few thoughts that I had that I thought I might share with you um, at the end of my day. All right, the battery died on my camera. So anyways, I wanted to tell you the, uh, the three things as I was thinking back as we were caring for my dad and, and for his wife Deborah that I was reminded of um, as a pastor and I thought might be helpful. The first one I, I wrote down is presence is powerful. Don't ever underestimate the value of just being there. So many times people are like, I don't know what to say, you know, this tragedy's happened, somebody's really sick and I don't know how to bring comfort. Presence is powerful. Just knowing that somebody's there, you may not, they may not feel like talking, they may be worried, they may have a lot going on, but just knowing, even if you're not in the room, you're in the waiting room, there's power in just being there. If you can't be there, send a text or send a card, um, reminding them that you're thinking about them and that they're not by themselves. And that brings me to the second one, small things matter. They really do. Um, while we were there caring for my dad, Stephanie's sister and mom came to visit us and they brought this tub of snacks and um, that's important. And the reason it's important, yeah, it's great to have snacks. Sometimes people can bring change or magazines, those kind of things. But what's important is when you're sick in hospital or you're caring for somebody who's ill, the main thing you feel is alone. Everybody else is going on, right? They're going to work, they're going to school, they're moving on with their life. And when you get ill or tragedy strikes, everything stops. And to know that you haven't been forgotten is really, really important. So don't underestimate the small things. The, the third thing I wrote down is that uh, prayer brings peace. You don't have to know any fancy words, you don't have to be a pastor, but just to say a, a prayer to ask God to bring us peace, ask God to, to bring healing, ask God to be with the doctors. Um, those things are important. Maybe read a passage of scripture. My favorite is Psalm 46. It says, God is our refuge and he is our strength and very present help in time of trouble. And then rest is important. It's important for um, the person that's trying to recover to rest and not always be stimulated in the room with a whole bunch of guests. It's important for the caregiver to rest. Now they may argue and they may fight, but uh, stay after them because nothing wears you out like being in the hospital, uh, whether you're the person in the bed or caring for the person in the bed. Just a few thoughts because we all go through this in life. We all have things happen where we're either the caregiver or we're the one in the bed. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and share it with your friends. Just trying to give you a behind the scenes <laughs> some of the things Steph and I do as um, pastors. I hope most importantly that you're encouraged. We don't know what we're doing, but we're still trying to figure out this YouTube thing. But I'll catch you on the next vlog because even this paint version, as you know, is over.